Welcome back, guys, to Trails Through Daybreak, our well, last episode. After finishing off the sweep of Basil's artisanal district with some info gained about the harassing professor, we moved on down to Newtown to take on a different 4SPG, a new hollow core, being given Pokel to test out in battle. After fighting through part of the Ore Canyon, we returned with the results to complete the job and now resume sweeping and seeking info. A freebies. Did it get re-equipped though, or is I am I out with ho without hollow core now? No, it did get re-equipped. So some of people's are at four star. I think yours needs to change at some point. But the arts damage increase is being pretty nice now. Things are growing fairly well, but it's more just about the the damage figures we want when boosted, isn't it? So it comes with a whole suite of stuff and no negatives. Evasion up 44%, critical rate up 30%, accuracy up 80%, physical and magical damage up, strength ATS and speed up, 11% HP EP regen each turn when boosted. Doesn't this seem absolutely ridiculous? Pretty much. I mean, Otis is obviously pretty, but like a super strong arts casting as well. This is more like a... Probably... It's all around build, or it might be more of a... I don't know how to put it. More of a fizz, because you'd want to, like, go into super spells like this here. That swift cast is probably going to be pretty good if we can build it up. Pretty good. But anyway, where to next? We've still got a lot of places to check out. We still need to sweep Newtown yet again. We know that the people on the gray bits are so convenient nowadays. also having new dialogue, so let's go around the place. When boarding the Aerotram, Welcome to the Aerotram platform, offering service throughout Basel and its facilities. Basel, you have a D-rank certification card to see. I'm sorry, but this Aerotram is unavailable to D-rank riders. My apologies, but for safety purchases, we cannot permit you to board. For oh, safety hey. purchases. So D for dunce. Cannot work aerotram. Is that how you're rating this stuff up? We did everything we could and it still fell through. What are we supposed to do? Just listen to me. I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. Who is this? He may have information relevant to the case. Yeah, I can't deny I'm curious myself. But not at the moment. Alright, should we try and avoid triangles to go for talking to start off with? There's the drugstore. Welcome to Celise Drugs. We've got all your medicinal needs from OTCs to prescriptions from all the big manufacturers. I personally recommend the products made from Remitheria and Vern Company's joint venture. They're wonderfully effective. With them, you get the best of both worlds, Remiferia's cutting-edge medicine and Vern's low costs. They may be a startup, but their quality speaks for itself. If you're in need of medicine, give them a shot. Hello. An apple granola bar. The on-the-go nutritious snack. Oh, a breezy hair tonic. Is that for me? It's for Kincaid. <laughs> Thanks for shopping. Right. Confirming your plans. Give the breezy hair tonic over. Don't mind if I do, Van. Bleh. Getting distracted. Gotta finish up my errands for the night. I need some detergent and canned foods. My folks are out of town for work, so I gotta clean the place up before they get back. I don't want to think about what they'll do if I forget. Though they went off on me before, anyway. If you want us off your back, then land a job and stay there. I can't argue with that, but man. Or De Niro. Alright. Do you think he's going to talk to us about bank stuff? So that brings us to an interesting question. How does the Bank of Edith invest in Basel going forward? The market shifted heavily towards state-sponsored development. Venture capital isn't a big player anymore. Isn't as big. So you said the same thing. I see. I reckon Never these guys say the exact same thing. So I guess it's the students that change location that obviously means they've also changed dialogue. You can also have ingress to the hotel. Um, 
I don't think the others are back yet. I don't care. I'm looking around. This is my first time in Basel. I'm here for work, and I gotta say, this place is every bit as futuristic as they said. Lumpur is its own new town. They sure as heck don't have aerotrams or giant orbital generators. This really feels like a cutting edge city in every sense. Hmm. <sighs> well. So Armas Academy is visiting, huh? I don't recall them doing that in previous years. Guess this year has been really good for them. Well, Basel's a wonderful place for students to learn more about engineering. I hope they see that firsthand. And big tech isn't all that we have either. Just look around. The geography here is simply breathtaking. Our food is well worth the trip too. Is it though? Oops. Guess that's wrong. I need to sample more of it. Right, we can't go where the kids are staying for obvious reasons. We're adults. <laughs> That'd be a bit weird. What are you looking at? A lot of our markers are in this place where most of the new dialogue options are. Let's bustle our way in. The Basel Motor Pavilion. So Optimus Prime it back. Wow, there's so many cars. I heard about its capacity, but it's very impressive seeing it in person. Welcome to Automotive Heaven. Motor Pavilion, where all the big manufacturers strut their stuff before they hit the market. Burns big here, naturally. They got a bunch of makes under their wing. Leno, Ingert, Red Star, and Etwas. That's your big four. This is where they show off all their latest and greatest stuff. And for gearers like me, it's both a peak of the new model year and a chance to yoink some of their ideas for your own for our own projects. Whenever I come to Basel, you bet I hit this place up every time. Most important place in the city. Full stop. That's great, Grandpa. Now let's get you home. I... I see. I do hear that the four manufacturers compete with each other a lot. That they have their own specialities, but nonetheless push each other to innovate. Does that factor into the showroom too? Oh yeah, these guys are ruthless. They all specialize in different things, but when markets collide, you bet they're at each other's throats, and that's good for the consumer. And Weninga especially. They both manufacture their cars here in Basel, so they headhunt and poach from each other like nobody's business. We get time to kill. I highly recommend stopping by here and shooting the shit with the salespeople. They might convert you. Adios, kill me. Or him. His passion for cars is already evident with his truck. It's natural that he'd be drawn here. Might as well take a look now that we're already here. Welcome to the Basel Motor Pavilion. We've got the latest and greatest models from the big four on display. Do take a look. We've opened up displays for all the new models they unveiled this autumn. It's gotten us a lot of attention from gearheads the country over. Of course, we've got models you can order today too. Take a look around, see if there's anything you like. They said they didn't know if there'd be an RC tournament this month. Man, I was so ready to beat Milia this time too. Well, if there's no tourney, then I'll make my own or something. I want to challenge her again, and this time I'm going to win. Man, there's just something about cars. Having all that power at your fingertips, feeling the wind rushing by. I'll see cars are cool and all, but once I'm old enough to get my license, I want to take a real car out for a spin. Literally everyone's a racer in this world now. Oh! Oh, hey, you two. Didn't know you were coming out here. Planning a big drive, so we figured why not? We wanted to check out those new models from Autumn. Man, these things rock. Cosmetically, it doesn't look much different from my old model, but the suspension here is... Man, this thing's gonna fly right through the corners. That's Ingo for you. And now to get the best out of their parts. And all those new tire compounds, too. I haven't seen these before. <laughs> They're always looking for ways to improve. As if he weren't enough of a kid in a candy store. Not knocking it, though. Aaron looks like he's having fun, too. This pavilion does seem to draw like-minded fans. My uncle was an Ingot engineer, so I'm a big Ingot fangirl, too. I drive a Leno, though. It's what I can afford. I really want to get a sports car, though. Once I scrounge a bit of a mirror, yeah, I just can't wait. Right. I saved a bit of money by buying the last-gen model, but I still had to take out a 10-year loan. Worth it, though. There's nothing like having your own, very own speed machine. So I can't go cheating on my baby with some shinier model. I gotta break her in first. Ten-year loan! Ten years!
Huh, not bad. Whenever I see one of those fancy Etwas models, I can't help but think of him. Can you not? If you need to tell the big four apart, look no further than their management strategies. James looks like he's having fun. Whack. I hope he finds a way to move on from all of that. It reminds him of people. What can I do for you? You interested in a... Oh, hold on. I see that glint in your eye. You're a fan, aren't you? Good catch. My pickup's my baby. I actually took it out here with me. Hey, a man of culture. I can tell by that look in your eyes that you know quality when you see it. We pride ourselves on how modular our cars are. They're strong, they're durable, and you can customize them however you want. I saw you walk in and your eyes just jump right to the suspension and cooling. I know those are popular mods on our models. You're an avid aftermarket shopper yourself, I had to guess. You know exactly where to look. Oh yeah, guilty as charged. You know, it takes that same kind of mindset to know people like doing that. But something tells me you're a geared yourself, am I right? <laughs> you got me. Probably spend like half my bonuses on aftermarket mods. I've got some photos of my new project here. Wanna take a look? Oh, I'd just be honored. What kind of pimped out ride does an honest to goddess Inga engineer come up with? Now who's slacking off on the job? Part of what makes this job so satisfying is meeting customers and getting their feedback on our products. We really hammer in how utilitarian and customizable our cars are, and I guess it's a more specific customer demographic compared to Leno. So when I talk to a customer about our models and aftermarket mods, we really see eye to eye a lot. It's like making a friend. Beautiful kitty came in during that. Welcome to the Leno exhibition space. This is our flagship model here. We worked hard on the interior for this revision to try and court older drivers. It's much more comfortable inside than before. So knows the everyman's car, yeah? I see them all over the place nowadays. When I was taking driver's ed, they stuffed me in a Leno made for newbies. Leno specializes in safety and economy rather than power or carrying capacity. For their slogan, they manufacture cars everyone can count on. That's the common perception, yeah. We're a big hit with families and people who need daily drivers. Well, that's not all we do. We make RC cars, off-roaders, and we field entries on the Z1 circuit too. We're careful not to pigeonhole ourselves into any one niche. We're growing and evolving every day. That's what we're all about. We make cars you can count on no matter what it is you do. We really pride ourselves on that mass appeal. Our cars have been adopted by just about every class and demographic. They're plenty safe and essential drive, making them popular with all different kinds of people. I feel like you need to work on that dashboard though. <laughs> uh, just a bit. The one thing that's weirded me out through this game though is the paint jobs on the cars. They're all so... Blotchy. Look at like look at that. Why are the paint jobs on the cars blotchy? I don't understand that. I like this. This is a F1 car, basically, or Z1, sorry. Sponsored by Bicycle. Okay. Seems a bit of an odd sponsorship, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and that was everything that was in there. So we've spoken to most people around. I guess it's time for us to start heating up all the markers. He's got a bicycle. <sighs> Being really busy lately. But I gotta stick the landing. Now's my chance to make a name for myself. But I refuse to lose to the guys. I'm gonna smash that glass ceiling and make the board of directors just you watch. We heard that bit. Ah, she's an office worker in Newtown. Average shows like her could have better info than meets the eye. Let's talk to her and see what we get. Let me ask you okay. something. Harassment. Honestly, that wouldn't surprise me. I've heard some nasty things about some specific professors at the Institute. Really? I won't name names, but I've heard a thing or two from a friend of mine. She's a researcher at one of the labs there. And every night they're sleeping at the labs after unpaid overtime. One little mistake during the day and they get torn to shreds. They say it's considered normal there. You just work until you drop. My friend, she... She told me one night that she was having suicidal thoughts. I had to talk her out of it. That's horrible. Does the institute not know about their working conditions? Oh, they do, but it's fear that rules the roost there. 
The Institute's senior professors are like celebrities in their own right. Nobody can touch them. They control whether or not you have a career in this town. Burn my own company. Everybody. They all go through the Institute's pipeline. Uh, out of curiosity, who do you work for? It's all about goods supply. They've got a license from Vern to sell their goods. So it's not like I can speak up about it, because then there goes my career. Word travels fast. Yeah, that tracks. Vern and the Institute might as well be, Basil. You speak up and you're never working in this town again. I can only hope we find a way to right this injustice. So I think this will be a random thing, and then we go to the other... Probably another person for a quest after? For another bit of dialogue? This building is... The Bulls ZCF and the Epstein Foundation, huh? The Foreign Tech Foundation established using your great-grandfather's cash, right? how famous it is even in the Republic. It's kind of funny that it's been dumped over in the corner like this. You're so rude, Aaron. <laughs> it's fine. But before all the big buildings were part of the Foundation's branch here. Indeed, as part of their downsizing in the Republic, they moved to this location. Its performance in other countries remains stable, but with tech going the way it is, it's only natural there'd be a dip in business. Right, with the Zypher... What was it before again? I think they're doing the rounds underground. Ramda, 5th gen, co-developed by Vernon Epstein. What the 6th gen would look like sparked a hell of a lot of conversation both before and after the war. Then they went and pulled what even the Empire's Rhineford Company didn't dare to do. Cut the foundation out of the equation. It caused some pushback across the continent at first, but now the technology is well on the road to being available to the public. And they'll do anything to keep themselves in their current favourable position. I would imagine even use Marduk for practical testing. Oh, perhaps it isn't my place to weigh in on the matter. You got that right. And the one pushing that as national policy is... So ZCF was the one that developed airships, right? Yes, they're a facility located in Zeiss in Le Beau. You can find their products all across the Republic, things like communications equipment or household goods. Being a friendly nation, they do have a cooperative enough partnership with Vern, I suppose. Oh, hello there. Hiya, Van and friends. And look at you go on, yes. Hard at work, I see. Hmm. We heard what you were doing earlier. You're researching with your co-workers as part of your visitation, yeah? I am. I hope you don't mind me going off on my own. Well, she's putting the work in. You guys have business here. We do. I have personal connections with ZCF and the Foundation, you see. So I thought this would be the perfect place to get a first-hand look at International Technological Exchange. What she said, someone from the Empire is a topic I personally can't get enough of. And I heard they make memory courts for films and stuff. How could I not want to come? How nice. I'm sure there'll be an endless amount of information to absorb there. Let's leave this part to us. We'll be sure to write up a report for you. But you better nab us some sweet scoops in exchange. <laughs> What are students doing here? Oh, of course. The educational visitation. But we, we didn't mean to crowd up the path. Wait, I've seen him before. I think I recognize him too. I'm sure you do. He is rather famous. Greetings, Professor. My name is Ren Bright. I've heard all about you from a certain other professor. Ah, I didn't realize you were studying abroad here. Cronkite, I believe this is our first time meeting in person. I found your papers fascinating, I must say. Welcome to Basel. Huh. Papers? Hmm? It's an honor to have my work read by such a brilliant mind. Might I trouble you for some time to chat in the near future? I would welcome the chance, though I'll have to pass on speaking at length with your classmates. Now, I am a busy man, I'm afraid, so if you don't mind, I will bid you farewell. Well, that stick couldn't be farther up his ass, but he's got the chops to back it up. Yeah, his background is Eastern, right? That was Professor Yang Cronkite, the young genius carrying the Republic's engineering community on his shoulders. He's been presenting groundbreaking tech across all kinds of fields since before the war two years ago. Oh, now that you mention it, I think I saw him in the Tyrell Times. 
He's said to be a genius, the likes of which we haven't seen since Professor Hamilton. But how are you connected to someone like him, Rhett? I believe the others are waiting, so how about we go? Don't be late for the meetup, Agnes, otherwise I'll have to give you a good spanking. <laughs> I know, I know. Have fun leading, everyone. Uh, hold on, Ren. Don't think you can get away with not answering. <laughs> well then, good luck with work. Shall we? Yes, let's give this our all. Just gone in to chill out. Pinus River Software Company. A software company, eh? Office Roughwood. Two floors of Zeiss and two floors of Epstein Foundation. I've worked here at the Epstein Foundation for years and years now. I remember before our exclusivity agreement. We ended up in patent litigation with the Vern Company. Then we were ordered to scale back our operations and move buildings. And that cooperation was what put Basil on the map to begin with. It's all thanks to the research that Professor Hamilton brought back with her. They can't just tear our teams apart after all the projects we developed together. It's not fair. Phew. I had no idea. So why? There had to have been a reason, right? Not like Vern got dragged kicking and screaming. But you know, there's no point moping about the past. You gotta play with the hand you're dealt, yeah? You're right, yes. It's just difficult to stay motivated, especially when my own pet project's been stuck in limbo. Sometimes I wonder if I'd be better off just finding a cabin somewhere and fishing for the rest of my days. Well, I'm not gonna stop you. I do hope his fortunes change. Very well. To think we were all working together just a couple years ago and now it's all done. I appreciate the sympathy from the ZCF folks, but man, I just can't find the motivation anymore. Sometimes I wonder if it'd be, I'd be better off just finding a cabin somewhere and fishing for the rest of my days. What fishing? Fishing doesn't exist anymore. There's a downstairs to this floor that I didn't check out. What the hell? I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about weaponry. I'm an engineer, after all. Current company weapons have gotten lots of good press for their innovation. Every day now, I get orders from the department store over in the capital for new parts and supplies. The manager over there can be a bit obsessive, but once you get to know him, he's pretty sociable. Working with him's a breeze for me now. If there's anything you need or any questions you want to ask, feel free to pull me aside. I don't mind. The company sent me here as a temp. That way we can gather customer feedback straight from the ground level. Do you know what you want? I need everything. Or everything is a new weapon. And everything has improvements on it. Great. This is going to be costly. There's also the flexible coat, which is much better than the coats I'm currently wearing. I do not have this kind of money. I have 29k in cash. 33k in cash. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could sell some stuff. We'll look to buy some stuff in time. Or I could just not equip everyone. That would kind of make sense too, wouldn't it? I'm basically out of cash at this point in time. I have 3k left. I think I should leave that in case I find any more foodstuffs. But I can, of course, up grade these just that little bit more. To make, hopefully, the gain's a little bit more worthwhile, though. To be honest, we didn't exactly lose a lot when we went out there in the first place. I hope to see you again. Do you know what you want? I hope to see you again. Right. Do oh, you do those know what you want? Shoes? Is shoes good? Move speed. Oh my god, the shoes are even kind of good. I hope to see you oh, again. Lady. Oh man, I was thinking we were making so much money at the end of last <laughs> time. Why is this guy hanging out in front of the toilets? <laughs> Suspicious. Wow, oh, a new weapons bought for everyone. I just like to. I just like the disinfectant pee smell. That's what I like the most. We need one more person to maybe speak to. That's a map both. The battle motor pavilion from the bottom. 
Can't go into those sections. I see. I see indeed, yeah. And then it's a store. Let's stay here and relax. Do you have any preferences? Which we've already bought from, so that's Thanks good. Thanks for coming in. Welcome, welcome. What can I get you? I go wherever my heart takes me, and I bring my little shop along for the ride. Who knows what customers I'll see next. Not the most practical business model, but it's what makes me happy, and my little niche has made me popular with the locals. A Roman cafe, huh? But it's popular with the airheads at the Institute. A common watering hole such as this would be a good place to gather information. Let me ask you something. Replace harassment. I haven't heard anything about that, sorry. My clientele are a lot more mellow. The faculty here get a uh, pretty kind, actually. They treat their students and understudies to mills sometimes. Ah, who specifically? That might help us narrow things down. So, uh, Professor Aureli, Associate Professor Tane, and Professor Callahan too? But he hasn't been around in a while. They always look poop, like on death's door, seriously. But when I talk to them, they all come across as normal, upstanding people. Ah, so they're just covering for the man, is what you're saying. <laughs> you be the judge of that. But I have noticed that some researchers from this specific lab have looked really down the dumps as of late. Replace harassment would explain that. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but that lab's professor might have something to do with it. Well, if anything comes to mind, please let us know. Well, uh, I'm sure I'm just overthinking things, but thanks, I'll let you know. Looks like there's more to the story than that. Does he not want to snitch, or does he not believe it? I see. Thank you for sharing that with us. I'd say we've seen everything there is to see in Newtown. That said, looks like we'll have to go to the Institute for that request from the assistant. The one about that professor abusing his power, eh? Doesn't seem like something outsiders like us should get in the middle of. I'm concerned since it was posted as a 4 SPG. I wonder if we can find a way for all of us to get into the Institute. Like with the air tram, access requires rank C certification or higher. Uh, it'd be nice if we could have Elsheim put on the pressure and get our ranks raised, but that won't work here. Not enough time. So how about we go have a little talk? With who? Ah, uh, the kiddo from earlier. He wasn't as bad about it as the CEO, but he still had his doubts about us. Well, if pushing doesn't work, we just got a pool. So thanks for being our go-between, Agnes. Uh, for what? Between you and Katra? You got it. You guys seem to hit it off. Guessing it's because you're so close in age. He'll be up for talking to you. Just make it seem like you've got problems and he can solve them. Oh, I don't think I'll need to do go that far. I'm sure if I'm just honest and upfront with him, he'll listen. But I'm happy to help. Once things settle down, I'll give him a call on my cipher. Ah, uh, girl doesn't have a clue, huh? <laughs> it is quite charming how unaware she is of her appeal. I don't really get what you're saying, but I know we can count on Agnes to handle this. Ah, youth. To advance the main story, select Contact Kotler from the travel menu. That is where we're at currently. So, we've checked out everything here, been to every shop. And the fact that there were two shops is also a thing that we had to pay big attention to. Uh, we can literally go back to the artisanal district if we want to. To check if no events have happened there. Well, we've been gone. But it doesn't know that there is. We do not have enough to report yet to reach our next rank, so I guess it's time to make that phone call. Let's push the day forward, probably into another suite, knowing uh, the overall flow of things. <laughs> Maybe now would be a good time to call Katara and ask about our certification cards. Contacting Katara will cause the main story to advance. As a result, all unfinished quests will disappear. Were there any other quests for me to take at this point in time? Uh, we've checked both boards, haven't we? One board had this quest that we're following, and we need to get to this place. The other quest, we've done. There shouldn't have been any more. Yes, this is Elysian speaking. Ah, oh, it's you, Agnes. Oh good, I was worried I wouldn't be able to get through. It sounds like there's a little bit of interference with the connection, though. Right, I apologize for that. 
I happen to be in the middle of something at the moment. Could you wait for me at a place called Jiskar Workshop? It's in the Artisanal District. I'll be there short- Hello? That's not good. Fe- uh, sir. Hello? Hello? What just happened? It sounded like something collapsed and I could have sworn I heard a faint roar after that. Sounds like trouble to me. We were just at Giscard's workshop a short while ago. Let's get on back there and see what the deal is. Sorry guys, we're back. Uh, who are you? <laughs> oh, you're the group from earlier. I thought we told you that this was a restricted area. Um, sorry, but Katara hasn't been passed here, has he? Wait, what? How do you know about... I'll handle this. I am the supervisor of this here workshop. Just car. I had a feeling when I saw you kids here earlier, but, uh, are you the ones Katra's been showing around town? He told you about us. That's right, we're from Arkwright Solutions over in the capital. I'll get right to the point. We have reason to believe he's in danger. We think he might be in a mine or something like that one, if that rings any bells. Can you take us there? What? Katra's in danger? Come with me. I'll hear your story while we're on the move. You two, contact the guild just in case. Get on it. So there's a mine shaft in the vicinity after all. Yeah, it's used to extract a mine of metal called linium. Signal's not great down there, which explains all the noise on your cool. So this is where Katra likely is. Most likely, I'd wager. He goes to check all the lights and such are working every so often. Just went in earlier to do it again. Ain't all that big of a shaft though, and there aren't usually any monsters down here. 